Hello and welcome to the Word and Song TV program. I'm Chris Romby, and we're continuing the great hymns of the Christian faith. And today, we're going to be featuring In the Garden. And In the Garden was written by American songwriter C. Austin Miles. And he was a former pharmacist, and he served as editor and manager of the Hallmack Publishing Group for 37 years. And he loved uh, being a gospel songwriter and serving the Lord in that capacity. That was his passion in life. And his hobby was photography. And he realized that he could develop him, the developed film in the dark room with the red light and still read his Bible. So one day he was doing that and he, he came to a passage of scripture and he got the inspiration for this song. And it was in uh, the year uh, 1912, in the month of March. And he looked at uh, John 20 and found the story, where, the story of Mary coming to Jesus in the garden to visit the tomb. And as she looked into, to, into the tomb, her heart sank because Jesus wasn't there. But then he standing nearby spoke to her and she recognized him and her heart leaped for joy. And in this moment, uh, he had an inspiration uh, about the song. And it, it was that this experience was not limited to just that happening 2,000 years ago, but it's a daily companionship with the Lord that makes up the Christian life. And he wrote this beloved hymn, In the Garden, and it is uh, one of my favorite hymns. The music is just beautiful. He wrote the music uh, just after he did the song. And that's a little unique because a lot of the times the hymns were written uh, first with a, a poem and then somebody else wrote the, the music. But he wrote the music as well. And I think the music is, is very fitting for the song. It really works together. It's a, a beautiful melody and just a beautiful picture of uh, being in the Lord in prayer in the garden. And I'm excited uh, to share with you our performance of this song. And stay with us after that. We're gonna be getting into the message of in the garden. So now this is Robbie Rohi and me performing in the garden. Still on the roses And the voice I hear Falling on my ear The Son of God Discloses And he walks with me And he talks with me And he tells me that I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known my mail in the eye that sees light we will heal gabrosi del caste oh my isanda Tahan ko hata min kutsu pal ni lachet Jesus kai ya kunele minuga ya matanda o manun ma o ser Sound 
of his voice is so sweet that the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me that I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known Nibuha Yavoy Kneda Sedalin Kivoy Kideshku Ja melodia, mille andista, muhin kesi ka kyllä Jeesus käi ja kyllä pinuga. Ja mä teen tahomaan nyt maan, osero. Tells me that I am his own And the joy we share as we tarry there Another has ever known Onnena we are massa I love that song, and it just touches my heart. And I'm going to share a scripture from 1 John 1, 3. That which we have seen and heard, we declare to you that you may also have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. And this song is about fellowship. And I really believe if, if you think about it, it's one of the main reasons I believe God created us in the first place, is to have fellowship with us. Fellowship is something deep. It's a, a deep communing of soul and spirit between us and the Lord, and we can have fellowship with one another, koinia, the word in Greek. And it, it's an abiding friendship and, and depth that we can experience but we see in the Garden of Eden that God, uh, after Adam and Eve had fallen and, and sinned, and God came uh, in the cool of the day. And I believe that was his time when he had fellowship with his creation, with Adam and Eve. And he was calling out for them, where are you? And then we, the rest of the story, they. They had hid themselves because they were ashamed because they had sinned. But in that moment, I, I believe we see in, in a, a perfect place of fellowship, the Garden of Eden. And in the, the garden is, is a beautiful imagery. So, so often in the hymns, we, we see imagery. And I think that helps our mind uh, to, to create that picture. And a, a garden, still is one of the best places to go and pray or in a beautiful pl place in, the, in God's creation in the forest or a beautiful sunrise or a sunset or by a river or a lake. It's something to be in God's creation, just fellowshipping, just fellowshipping with the Lord. And fellowship is just spending time with the Lord. It does take time and it is a commitment to fellowship. I think it's very important for believers to, to take a time every day. And I, I really believe it's good to start the morning to have a, a fellowship with, with the Lord. And where we're staying right now, there are many birds that sing. They give a concert every, every morning and, and they're just kind of wanting you to, to enter into that, to that moment. 
the birds singing and the, the, the sound of the breeze in the background and, and, and the voice of the Lord speaking to us as we take the time every day to, to spend time with Him. Because if, if we don't do that, the, the day can just begin to start without really focusing on, on the Lord and His presence. And we, I think we miss so much because it's in those moments sometimes that uh, God speaks to our heart. He can give direction and just to be at peace. And there, there are certain uh, wonderful blessings that we can receive in our fellowship with the Lord and just have His peace. Something about the presence of the Lord. If you ever sense that, just when maybe uh, you and a, a friend or, or some people begin to pray together and you just sense immediately God's peace. Well, that's the presence of God coming into that situation. And, and there is a real uh, refreshing in, in God's presence. He refreshes us. The Bible speaks about times of refreshing from the presence of the Lord. And that's what we can re receive from Him. We can receive joy. In His presence is fullness of joy. And we can just sense His love and, 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 and listen to His heart. And uh, we've been speaking a little bit about listening on these programs and becoming a listener. And it's, it's, it's in those times that, that we spend in fellowship, that we're, we're not only uh, uh, speaking and, and, and praising, that's good, we can praise, but also having a heart to listen and our, our fellowship with, one, with the Lord or with someone else, it's a two-way street. We communicate and with the Lord, we worship Him and thank you, Lord, you're good, your mercy endures forever. And then we should still ourselves and let him speak to us because I believe uh, he's always wanting to get something over to us. And if we'll take the time every day, our life will definitely be enriched. And the Bible says that we can be still and know that he is God that he will be exalted over the earth. And, and when we are surrendered to him and, and still before him, it just uh, makes our vision of God, our, our maybe eyes are off of our problems, our insecurities, and, and get our eyes on the Lord, on his strength and his ability. This is one of just the wonderful blessings of time with, with the Lord. If you have it, if you do it, then you begin to realize, man, I just need to do this every single day. And if you miss a day, there's no condemnation, but you know, don't, don't miss too many days. Keep on fellowshipping with the Lord because He is exalted. He's exalted in, in the earth and He is exalted over all of our problems. Fellowshipping connects us to the Lord and, and in relationship with him and during these these times uh, of fellowship we can let the Holy Spirit teach us Jesus said the Holy Spirit would become our teacher that he would reveal things to us that, that he would share things with our heart and as our as our teacher uh, he's going to give us what we need for the day, what we need for our family, for our future. And it is a, it is a commitment, but there, there are certain commitments in life that just bear so much fruit. And, and that's, that's one of them. And uh, maybe, maybe you've let that slip, but uh, you know, in God's grace and His mercy, maybe today He's reminding you, yeah, you need to get back. And it, sometimes we call that a, a devotion time. And one of the great things we can do is fellowship around the Word of God. The Word of God is so powerful, it's so rich, it's so full of life and, and, and anointing. It's living and active. And if, if 
we get in the Word of God, uh, when, when the Holy Spirit is there in the presence of God, then He can open the Word up to our hearts. Not just we're like, oh, I got to read my scriptures for the day and it's boring. No, it, the Word can be alive in us. And God wants to make His Word living and alive in us. And He'll do that. There's a, two words uh, for the Word. There's a logos, and that's the total sum of the Word of God. But also uh, the Bible scripture is referred to the rhema, those pieces of the Word of God that God, by His Spirit, make alive in you. And, and that's in that atmosphere, in God's presence and fellowship, that things be, can become alive in our heart. And that's when faith uh, becomes alive in us. And we need to walk in faith. And this will make our faith so much easier it, in that kind of atmosphere uh, where things are alive and, and it's just dancing off the page and begin to, begin to dance in our heart. So, uh, uh, such a good song and, and it's just so, so encouraging. And, and it just feels good to, to sing that song and to hear it sung. And, and we're going to, in a moment, pray for you. We'd like to do that because prayer is important, responding to the message of the song. So stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. and We're going to pray for you and just have a moment of fellowship with the Lord. We'll be right back. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear falling on my ear The sun talking about, singing about in the garden, fellowshipping with the Lord in His presence, in His joy, in His goodness, in His glory. That's where He wants to bring His blessings to our life. So much can happen in, happen in those moments in His presence. Just a moment in the presence of God can change our life forever. It can change our destiny because God's power is working as we're quiet and still before Him. I want to pray for you today and ask God to bless you and to give you a wonderful fellowship with Him. So Lord, all the people watching today, we pray that in your presence, where there's fullness of joy, that your people would experience your joy, your peace, and your goodness all of their days and that that would strengthen them and help them to do your will and accomplish your plans in Jesus' name. So I just challenge you, if you're not spending time every Lord with the day in prayer and fellowshipping with him in his word, do that. It's such a life-changing thing. It's really one of the, the three things uh, a new Christian even, we, we instruct a new Christian, if you, a new believer, that's one of the things you need to do every day. Pray to the Lord. The other thing is be in fellowship and friendship with other Christians. And also to attend church, find a good Bible-believing church that, that, that shares and ministers to you the Word of God and connect with those. Those are the three essentials, and that's something we can share with others. This, those three things, but one of those main things is prayer and fellowship with the, with the Lord daily. And if you, you will do that, if I will do that, our life will be so blessed, so encouraged, because there's so many good things God wants to put in us, share with us in those wonderful times of fellowshipping with Him. And we have more hymns to bring you in future programs. So stay with us. Tell friends that they're 
singing and talking about the great hymns of the faith. And that we can all be encouraged and blessed together. So until next time, this is Chris Robbie saying God loves you and have a blessed day. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.